Push it across. It doesn't go across. It does. <laughs> it's trapped, but you can do it. You can do it, we believe in you. Don't look down, Alex. Don't panic. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Now, Lady, you have gone. But, as it's still the weekend, I reckon it's time for some Xbox. I keep changing position. I'm trying to get like my eyes out of the, the glare from outside. It's not even that sunny. The clocks went forward last night, so I woke up at like half nine, ten, feeling like I hadn't properly slept. <laughs> it's a whopping ten degrees today. I know you all like it when I talk about the temperature. I like to keep a track in most vlogs of what the temperature's been that day. I think I might go for a bike ride. I've been meaning to go to Asda. When I cycle along the front in Brighton Hove, I end up at the marina, which is right by the giant Asda. And Asda have their own new vegan <coughs> cheddar cheese they've brought out, which is apparently better than all the other supermarkets. So I'll need to test that out. I don't know if this interests anybody, but they also do a gelatin-free Coca-Cola gummy bottles which is like my favorite sweet of all time. They always have gelatin in them. So to find one without, that's like five for a pound, five packets for a pound is amazing. And also they don't have palm oil. Every, I feel like every single supermarket owned brand sweet candy has palm oil in it because it's cheap and it's annoying. But this one doesn't. I have several hours free. Don't you just love it when that happens when like a, a whole period opens up in your day, like where you realize you have nothing to do. I don't get it very often, but I, I live for these moments. And now, doom. Look away if you're under 18. Okay, scratch that. Forget everything I just said. Uh, I forgot we were going into London earlier to see Blue off of Blue Ollis. And yeah, so no time for cycling. I'm having lunch and then we're pretty much heading off. Uh, but I will cycle tomorrow because it's gonna be warm and I've got to do some stuff with the car. With any luck, I'll have a parking permit tomorrow. But, I am really in the mood for cola gummies now, so I'm probably going to cycle to Asda. Oh, how arty that is. This is just the most mishmashy, weird assortment of leftovers. And I've got some gravy in there. Look how appetizing. I haven't shown you this mug, have I? Thumbs up for the mug. Lunch, done. I thought it would taste horrible. It looked horrible and it was all kind of mushy, but I think the curry pie gave the gravy a nice curry sauce texture. So it tasted like I got it from a chip shop. Anyway, I'll have to pick up the car now. Next time you see us, we'll probably be in the car with Maddie. So stay tuned. We've just arrived in London. I've no idea what you've vlogged this morning. Just a bit of chit chat, a bit of ramble. Um, you haven't been in it yet, have did you? Did you say about what yesterday was like? Uh, not so much. Yeah, it was really fun yesterday. It was nice yeah. to meet some of you who came over to say hello. Oh yeah, of course. It was really lovely. And um, now we are in London. We've driven here. It took us bloody ages. Oh, I hate driving to London. And Do you? <laughs> now we are meeting up with my friend Blue and then we are going to the Purezza opening in London because they have one in Brighton and it's really famous for being like the best place to get vegan pizza and they're opening one up in Camden and it's the like launch kind of press evening and then they're open from tomorrow so yeah I'm really excited so if you live in London go check out Purezza in Camden and get their delicious vegan pizza so yeah, I'm excited to have lots of food tonight. Yeah, my tummy is ready. This weekend though has been an intense food weekend. They always happen like all the things at once, don't they? Yeah. Not spaced out. Um, yeah, we're just walking there now. We've got got a parking space for free, pretty much, because it's Sunday and it's after half yeah. six. It's like a pound, which is not bad for London, eh? Nope, so yeah, <sighs> we'll show you all the delights. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a dog! 
Right, so we're, we've just arrived from Curetta with Blue and Bab. And we are the first people here, we're super keen. And the menu looks really good. I'm definitely gonna get a whole pizza. Are you gonna get pizza? <laughs> there is a dog, which makes it even better. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're adorable. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute, you're so little. He's so little. Hello. Is he free? Can we take oh. him home? Oh no. Hello. Is our mascot? Oh. <laughs> You're gonna get lots of love this evening. <laughs> My favourite was the spicy one, the one that you got. My favourite was the one that you got. Was it? What was your favourite? I think spicy. Yeah, and Alex? Spicy. Oh, that was really, really good. But they were all amazing. So, I recommend. How do you feel, Alex? We finished off everyone's food, as usual. I can probably eat more. Well, we're going to have pudding, so you've got to eat more. But there's a separate stomach for that, like the waitress said. <laughs> or a pizza. Or a pizza. It does. Oh my goodness. What have you done? What have you done? Alex, dig in. The chocolate is all around your mouth. Oh. oh my. So, you didn't manage to finish it. I could have finished it. Sure. Sure. This is going to be your breakfast. They've got Best the American date system. <laughs> right, full review of Puretza Camden. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was really good. And they gave us some like gluten free cheesy bites at the end because they noticed that we'd ordered, ordered everything gluten free because um, Blue and Bav and Alex, all so kind, yeah. they all ordered gluten free <laughs> stuff so that we could all share. Um, I've so got they, one in here still. Yeah, so we got, um, we got that afterwards and um, they were really, really good. Everything was yummy, the staff were all really friendly and really happy and full disclosure, that was a free meal. We showed you the receipt. Um, they invited us to come down because it was like an opening event, like a press event. But um, we love it anyway because we've been there in Brighton. And it's, yeah, we've it's, recommended it already. So yeah, it's, it's like, like my favourite like pizza restaurant I've been no, to. No, you don't have to go like, because loads of people come to London, but not as many people would go to Brighton. Yeah. If they're like visiting, I don't know. And obviously- You know what I'm trying to say? And like, it's a vegan pizza restaurant. So like, yes. I'm 100% on board with that. So yeah. definitely check it out if you ever come to London on holiday or if you live in London. Go check it out. It's nice to have the option in London for that now. And our recommendation would be the, be the volcano pizza. That was the best, I yeah. think, my favourite. Although I did one. like the cheeses pizza. Yeah, that was also Four really Four cheese. To be fair, they're all bloody delicious. So, <laughs> and Alex has got leftover Oreo pizza yeah. for breakfast. Oh my gosh, this weekend it has been be breakfast, such like, an intense weekend of food. People have Nutella on toast for breakfast. They do. That's why I suggested it. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have a smoothie for breakfast because. I need something fresh. <laughs> I know where we are. Okay. That was a really um, fun evening. Always lovely to see Blue and Bab. And also, I'm going back on Thursday. Well, we're going back on Thursday yeah. to London for to see Blue and Amy again, and then also to go there for the weekend for my sister's birthday. So, sorry. Oh, well, let's address this. We've not been vlogging very much. We well, had time off. Did you? We've had time off because um multiple reasons one because we were a bit like unsure what the point of this channel was and which direction it was going in number two alex and i were trying to like work hard on my website and my channel and lots of behind the scenes boring admin stuff and also number three like i got ill alex got ill <laughs> we're just four. trying to like rejig everything and rethink everything yep. and um get have some space from it and also i got a bit fed up with a few a few comments that i'd received 
uh, we'd received just about, wait, which way is it now? Oh, it's this way. Huh? I know now, it's funny. Yeah, um, we just received a few annoying comments oh, no, about don't. our relationship and people judging our relationship and acting like they know us. Yeah. Which I appreciate, obviously, people online, you watch people, you think you know them and well, you, you think, think you... Ev what we film is everything uh, like everything we do or how we speak to each other in the day like yeah, yeah you think that that's everything when the reality is there's so much more and um you don't know yeah. so much in the better in the nicest way you can't as a vlogger you physically can't share everything you can't share your entire life because you just you can't but then that creates a problem that people assume what they see is everything which is obviously not the case so it creates a bit of an awkward scenario and um <laughs> people not most of you guys are like the nicest people ever and you leave us the friendliest loveliest comments and it makes my day and you're all so sweet but occasionally people leave st comments when obviously they're having a bad day and something terrible's happened to them in their life and they project it onto us i think people misinterpret our the way humor. we talk to each yeah. other and our humor so you say something and people think you're being bossy but i'm joking uh, yeah, yeah. And, if, and if i say something and it sounds mean i kind of edit it out yeah. But I forget to do that with you, so yeah. <laughs> it's hard to get the balance right of trying to make it funny, but also it is then making it seem like because, we're just abusing each other. Yeah, because you will see flaws in me. And, so many flaws. And um, I don't know, we're ranting now, but like anyway, don't. Um, the moral of the story is here is it did put me off for a bit, and it did put me off wanting to film because I just don't have time for that type of thing. I don't want to humour that type of stuff which obviously most of you do not do but anyway i'm ranting and i'm gonna going on and on and on but any person who's ever made a youtube video will have experienced this sorry i can edit we've been talking for so long yeah when um i see like couples online on youtube um and they kind of stop doing it so much yeah and it's you, i get why of, now it's always oh it's always kind of the same reason but yeah. it's recurring it's because it's like it's hard to put your whole life yes, online you can't but then the problem is if you paint a picture online that this is us and this is our life people think that that is it, it in its entirety and you can't physically show them that other missing puzzle piece but then it creates a problem that's the fault with vlogging and that is a fault of like social media like you just see a highlight reel essentially so it yeah. is tricky or you see a highlight reel with then the occasional mistake and the occasional problem that people then pick up on and think that that means that you're a horrible person if you yeah. make one mistake or if you have a bad day like for example i might have a bad day i might be in my period alex might have done something that's really upset me and therefore it comes across because i get mad at him yeah. in the vlog but i'm never gonna like say but that we're not gonna vlog. talk about that yeah. because that's private so like that is the issue anyway <laughs> that put me off for a bit I, and i think that sometimes you need to reevaluate, and I love vlogging, but I want to take a step back and be a bit more like cautious of what we vlog and like not get carried away with vlogging so much. I'd quite things. like to just vlog when we want to vlog on days like this when we're doing something yeah. fun. Um, I instead, think of, instead of trying to fit a vlog into a day yeah. where nothing's going on. And we were... I mention this again because every time I say this, every time I bring it up, you guys are really kind and you say, "Oh, but we love yeah, like anything. hearing you just do anything, just." sit and talk whatever i want to i want it to be a bit more than that a bit mm -hmm. more not, nec focus. not necessarily exciting or interesting but more like focused and yeah. more less random yeah yeah well we are gonna go home now and we'll see you in our next yeah. vlog whenever that may be Bye. what are we gonna listen to on the way home cereal <laughs> harry potter no cereal no harry potter Bye. mr and mrs Dursley of number four privet drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal